Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's Tushinga here for those of you who don't know. And if you do know, hey babe, and welcome, welcome back. I stay watching these videos on YouTube and I was like, 2023 is the year of creating content that I watch and creating content that I like and posting content that I like. So I am really excited for us to be doing this first monthly reset and we are starting it in my birthday month so happy first feb tomorrow is my birthday so yeah i'm really excited so i have everything in my notion i put everything down because i did not want to leave anything out so i have broken my february goals in four categories i have weight loss goals fitness goals social media goals and financial goals We're going to have a life update segment and my favorites segment we are also going to be budgeting i love this for me so if this is a video that you may be into keep watching so we are going to start with my weight loss goals guys i went on the scale this morning and i was very very shocked okay i weigh 68 kgs right and that's 150 pounds um for anyone who's wondering and i really think that for my size i am like kind of overweight for my size and if you're wondering what my size is i am 162 centimeters which is five foot four right so i really do want to lose some weight and i'm not talking about crazy weight i'd like to lose um four kgs so that i can be just under 65 kgs at 64 so i'm really going to be watching what i eat right watching what i eat having more protein because i feel like if i shed weight shred weight i need to gain muscle so that's a really big goal for me in terms of my weight loss then i want to be eating healthier and juicing so i have found that juicing is really helping me detox right so juicing is diff diff uh, juicing is definitely something i'm going to carry on doing i personally also really love the juices so I'm, I'm definitely going to carry on juicing and with the eating healthier i already do have a really healthy diet i mostly eat healthy food so what i will be doing is incorporating more greens into my diet and hopefully in march we will be having a different conversation now on to my fitness goals so for my fitness goals, I am going to maintain what I have been doing now. So I currently work out five days a week. I do want to carry on working out five days a week. The one thing I do want to add though is skipping. I feel like at least once a week, I need to skip like 500 skips for the week is great. I feel because it's just a full body workout and I work everything out when I'm skipping so i feel like i need to do that and i feel like it's, a, it's it is as important as it is to target certain muscles and areas in your body so i'm really going to be skipping a lot more like once a week i need to skip so that is something that i do want to add onto my fitness journey social media goals guys guys I love social media. I don't know. I love social media. A lot of people have a lot to say about how, oh, it's so bad. And yeah, it does have a lot of horrible things, but I love social media, okay? Social media taught me everything I know. So I love social media, and it's only natural that I embarked in a social media career. Hello, if you are watching me right now and you have not subscribed, please subscribe and join the family. My dreams are coming true every single day. I'm growing every single day and that's all thanks to you guys, the people who share, who like, who comment on my videos. Thank you so much. Let's get into YouTube. So 
for YouTube, I want to post three to four times per week. And that sounds crazy. Hold on. I want to post two videos. So I already do post two videos. So in February, I think that's eight videos. So I need to post eight normal videos. And I want to be posting one to two shorts per week. Shorts are helping my channel grow so much guys my channel's growth is skyrocketing because of shorts so i am really serious about posting shorts on my channel and i always have shorts available to me because i'm always creating ugc content so i think i can make it happen this is a challenge for me and i'm going to be busy all the time so i want to see what's going to happen to my channel i am currently sitting on 2150 subscribers and so with the shorts i want to see what is going to happen i think in january i gained i think over 30 subscribers so i love that over 31 subscribers actually let's just check let me actually just go to my YouTube studio right now. Let me screen record. Okay, so we are on my dashboard and we're just going to go to my analytics. Just see how my, subs how my subscriber reach is looking like. In the past 28 days, actually let me just filter that to January. Okay, so in January, people viewed my videos 13,120 times. Thank you so much. And my watch hours are 345.4 hours. As you can see, my views are lo lower than they usually are. Well, lower than the previous 28 days. And so are my watch hours. But my subscribers have increased by 32 percent and that is because i feel of i think it's because of the shorts actually i think they're going up because of the shorts and my estimated revenue is 3.32 dollars so i really do believe that um the reason why my views and my watch time have decreased is because i am diversifying my content and that is another goal for me for my social media i do want to post content that is more valuable i mean i love the vlogs i really do i love vlogging and but it's like i've got so much more to me than just vlogs also my life is a bit boring guys i don't go out all the time i'm always at home and i feel with vlogs it's really hard to film in advance and i don't want to be on top of myself like oh my gosh what am i gonna post next and i found that when i was filming vlogs it was always like that because i'm waiting for something to happen in my life for me to pick up the camera and film content so i think having content that i can sit and plan out and record in advance is really going to help me in the long run so i love that i have been diversifying my content i want to create more productivity content you know how to improve your life for the better obviously um then habits i, I just want to make content that will help you while i'm helping myself so we learn and we grow together then question how have you been enjoying this are you enjoying the new content um what what videos would you like to see from me as well right and also this does not mean that the vlogs are going to stop i will be posting vlogs like i think two three times a month and i feel also having some space in between vlogs allows me to create some really nice long vlogs i really enjoy a long vlog and i know that there's a few not even a few a lot of you on my channel enjoy the long videos and it shows with the engagement and watch time so thank you for watching my vlogs moving on i want to reach 3000 subscribers in the month of february and whew, it's a high number it's a big number but um i think we can do it i think i'll be able to with god anything is possible girl so with the growth 
um from the shorts i do think that it is possible for me to reach 3000 subscribers in the month of february then on tiktok i want to reach 600 followers i reached 10k likes the other day on tiktok yay i love that for me um i'm currently sitting on 380 something followers on tiktok i will take a screenshot and leave it on the screen so we see where i'm at and i also do believe that it's possible to get to 600 in feb then i want to get two sponsorships i want to start taking sponsorships seriously because i am not say i am i used to be a very lazy influencer who wanted everything given to her like i wanted the brand to come and find me i wanted them to enjoy my instagram and come find me but it's like my instagram wasn't giving you guys any value i'm starting to create content that gives more value more aesthetically pleasing content but before it wasn't like that i just felt like brands owed me sponsorships and it's like girl girl be so for real so i'm being so for real with myself now and i'm going to work and i'm going to reach out to brands in february and i really hope that we do get sponsorships so for my financial goals i do not want to spend more than 500 grand on miscellaneous things like bro i one thing about me let me tell you i can spend money i like i hate spending money but i can spend it like give me money and i'll come back home without the money because i would have spent it all so i want to limit myself to a budget of 500 grand for my miscellaneous because girl in this economy i need to relax okay then i want to save 20 percent of my total income and i'm going to split this income between my two savings accounts so i have two saving accounts they're both fixed accounts so i want to split my whole income between those two yeah let us do the budget guys look at us grown girls like we budget now excuse me I need everyone to get in line and follow my example. So I did create my budget in Notion. You can kind of tell by how it's so basic. It's such a basic one. The ones on Canva, the cute ones on Canva, don't want me to edit them and that made me so sad. Canva has such cute, um, let me just actually show you how cute the budget templates are on Canva. But when I try to use them it doesn't want me to use them so i'm sad about that i'm totally sad about that uh monthly budget i'm gonna show you guys this because i'm upset about it um what <laughs> monthly girl candle girl it was an error as a typo you know what i mean monthly budget when I go on this, it doesn't want me to write down my information and I don't like it. Customize. But is it because I'm saying customize? Why do I always press customize? I'm not about to do this. If it doesn't work this time, you see, it's doing this line line thing. It doesn't want me to write. It needs to give me the option to notes. You see, it doesn't want to do anything. Anyways, let me go back to my notion budget. So obviously my income I will write down in the beginning of next month in the next reset video because I don't know what my income is. Guys, it's such a basic thing. Like wow. But let me fill out what I know. So, so my announce is a thousand rand that is all i know sponsorships i'm not sure if i'm gonna get any in fact i will in the name of jesus brand deals so i work with brands to create um create content for them so we will see at the end of the month and extra income it is my birthday on tuesday so i might be getting some money expenses so my spotify is 30 rand 
Google Drive. These are my subscriptions, by the way. Uh, 40 Rand is Google Drive and miscellaneous. I said 500 Rand. Now, we I'm just going to see if I did the correct thing. And obviously, my savings are dependent on the income that I make. Now, life update. I don't really have anything to update you guys on because like I said like my life is not really that fun guys so um let me just say still no boyfriend still very open to going on dates but don't waste my time um I'm excited for school this year I'm really excited about the academic year because I'm going to work my butt off to get AIDS so I love that for me. I have started reading over my assignments and doing research for my assignments. So again, I love that for me because it just shows that I'm serious. It's like I'm proving a point to myself. Because when I was in primary school, guys, I used to get A's for everything. In high school, I fell off. Last year, I fell off. This year, I'm mad. So I'm going to do what has to be done. Per. That's all I have to update you guys on my locks. Guys, my locks are so beautiful. I retwisted them. The length is giving, okay? And so I'm really happy with where my hair is right now. Mentally, I am in a good space. I'm in a good space mentally. This is the best I have felt in five years. So I am content right now. I'm not depressed or like anxious about anything right now. I just feel like God has total control over my life and over my mental health and therapy has been really great as well i have been enjoying therapy so 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 much and if you are able to get therapy i do recommend that you do go get therapy because girl everybody needs therapy now my january favorites I'm so excited for this part. I couldn't wait to get to the end of this video so I could tell you about this part. So you guys know I'm really into K-dramas and my favorite K-drama of the month, the only K-drama that I really watched was The Glory. Guys, you need to watch The Glory. That drama was too good. Part one was amazing. I'm waiting for part two to come out on the 10th of March. But watch it. It's such a great drama it had me on the edge of my seat like biting my nails oh my gosh oh my gosh what's gonna happen next you need to watch that drama because it gives a uh, favorite artist in jan i can't i can't say <laughs> i don't did i have a favorite artist i don't think i had a favorite artist in jan i was just listening to everything you know i spice dropped like i i love ice spice like a lot of people are gonna say oh she's vulgar i love her she just makes me feel like i'm a baddie you know so ice spice definitely loved ice and i love princess diana on her album love that song uh favorite gospel song has to be firm foundation bro that song has been doing it for me i love that song so from foundation by maverick city go listen to that song why am i speaking in a sing funny voice anyway child for foundation is i keep bumping the camera again from foundation i love that my favorite youtubers <laughs> in jan would have to be janet I don't know how to say her surname, but obviously her page is up on the screen. I love Janet. She actually inspired the rebrand of my channel. I love Janet. Uh, she does a lot of fitness, weight loss um, content. She creates the content that I want to create now. And before anyone comes at me and says I'm copying her thumbnail, um, look. I'm copying her thumbnail look okay because I like it and I really enjoy it obviously I, I do incorporate some of the things that I have learned when I was making thumbnails differently but I really love how clean 
the thumbnails on her page look and so I wanted that for my page as well so shout out to her for inspiring me um, also have video ideas so yes I will be making videos that are similar to the ones that she makes on her channel come at me now because you're not gonna come and tell me what I already know okay then Tomiwa Rodia. I love her so much and she recently just reached 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. I love this woman. This woman, like she, she's my comfort YouTuber. Tomiwa is my comfort YouTuber. I love her so much. She creates lifestyle content. She does a lot of vlogs, morning routines. She's Muslim as well. So if you are a Muslim babe, and you don't know Tamiwa, go ahead and watch her. She's amazing. I also really have been enjoying Mariah Kelly. Boy. Boy, she's so pretty. Like, the whole time, I'm not even watching the video. I'm just admiring her because how are you so beautiful, bro? That is one person's face. Like, she's gorgeous. So, I have been watching her. I also really love Mantel B. Ooh. When I think about me, I would match Montal's content. She creates like amazing content, amazing content how to plan and things like that. Really great. So if you want to be motivated, go watch Montal. And all of these are black women. I love me a black woman, okay? Yes. Favorite podcast of January has got to be Balanced Black Girl. I love that podcast so go ahead and listen to it because my girl my girl that podcast it just gives and it just makes you feel so understood as a black girl so I definitely love that everything that I mention, everyone I mention, will be in the description box below so if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like comment share and subscribe and I will see you in my next video